Hi everybody, I am Husky Light. Um, I wanted to come on and talk about energy waves because I had a huge, <laughs> I call them downloads. I had a huge, my guides and my angels came through, um, my higher self, higher consciousness, all sort of give me, gave me this huge download of information about questions that I've been asking my guides and angels lately. Um, and then all of a sudden all the information so a lot of the stuff that I've been wondering about came through to me last night and usually when this happens and it's not happened for a few weeks um, I've had lots of synchronicities and things like that but no downloads of, of information as such um, but I mentioned I don't, I'm gonna have to slow down on this one because I've just got so much and I've, I've just written pages and pages of information down that came through to me um, that I need to share with you which is why I'm here um, to help you hopefully some of you to understand a little bit of what's going on within this awakening process um, so I had a conversation last night um, with someone who's a subscriber who, who's quite becoming quite a good friend now we are good friends um, it's the the woman Daniela um, who's got so much in common with me it's crazy well it's not I know the reasons why now but um, it's all part of your soul group if you watch that twin flame video she's part of my monad group soul group so she is I'm a, I'm a set of twin flames she um, and her partner are a set of twin flames within the six sets of six twin flames within that monad group within my monad group which is why so we're learning the same things we're on the same path we're on the same lessons um, this is why we have so so much in common um, so but anyway I was having a conversation with her last night and I she concentrates on tarot readings on YouTube um, and things like that which is what I used to do as you awaken Awakening simply means becoming more and more aware and, ex and expanding your consciousness into your understanding of not only the world around you and what's really going on, but of the universe, the galaxy, everything. And you will take in information um, and it might take a few days to sink in or a few days to absorb the information that's come through and you might not even consciously realize that you're taking that information in but then you get a download and it all becomes completely clear um, as to what you've been wondering about so we were having this conversation last night and she was saying about because she concentrates on tarot readers and and that on YouTube she said how come I can she can watch me she can go and watch various other tarot readers and astrology, astrology readers and energy readers dotted around YouTube we're all in different countries we don't know each other but we're all coming out with the same messages and she said how does that work and I <laughs> I said because we're all in the same collective consciousness and we're all picking up on the same energies that are coming through but I even when I said it I don't think I had a completely full understanding of what I was saying until it hit me later with this download um, so I just want to I just wanted to sort of go through through that and hopefully it'll help um, a lot of you understand what is happening with these energy waves that are coming through and what these energy waves are to start with as well um, and I I'd said to her during the conversation she said I I wish I knew I wish I knew I wish some I wish they come and knock on the door and just tell me um, and I get a huge download so they didn't knock on the door but they did our angel cards last night uh, today for today is about new beginnings taking a new direction um, and every card they were from different packs and they come out and I said in the angel card there is a theme here and I'm noticing that every so often we will get for a few days um, angel cards coming out that all seem to be related to the same sort of theme they're either clearing out getting rid of old relationships starting new beginnings things like that um, and you will notice a pattern and a theme 
because I've been doing it quite a while now, I've started picking up on these themes and thinking, right, okay, what is this? Um, and today's is about new beginnings. Um, and I feel personally, and uh, my friend Daniela has also emailed me this morning, we feel fantastic. We had a good night's sleep for a change. Um, we do feel fantastic. We're full of energy um, and everything is just, everything seems wonderful today. It seems great and it seems wonderful. Probably because we've got these insights as well, but we are picking up on not only the collective consciousness energies, we are picking up on so much more than that as well. We are picking up on energies from other planets that are coming in, which is your astrology. We've got the new moon in Scorpio. We are picking up on the energies of the new moon in Scorpio. Now that is going to affect each sign in a different way. Um, but for the most part, I think it's actually positive because it is all about healing relationships, new beginnings um, in existing relationships or new beginnings with somebody new coming into your life um, in all sorts of ways, not just romantic relationships, but in relationships in general. Now, some of you will be sitting there going, well, I feel crap and that's not happening and I don't know where I'm going and don't know what I'm doing and I feel depressed and I feel sad. There's reasons for that. Um, and this is what I want to go go through with you. I'll try and explain it in the best, best way that I can. It's all really good because I get these downloads and then I write it down. And I had to take the car in for an MOT this morning. So I had to walk back from the garage. So everything was just pouring through my mind. And when you're repeating it in your mind and talking to yourself, it's like really good. And then you have to try and get that out into a logical way onto video to put out to you. Um, and there will probably be bit, always when I do a video like this, I'll stop, I'll stop the camera afterwards and think, right, that's done. That's great. And then I'll think, ah, oh, I should have said that. I didn't say that this was in it. So I'm going to, try and go through it. I've just got pages and pages of notes um, that came through to me last week. So the themes that are coming through in the cards that, that, that we see that are either, they are either in conjunction or they are results, repercussions of the type of energy waves that are coming, that are being sent to us, that are coming through to us through the universe, they're washing over us. Um, and then we're all getting these energy waves at different times, because depending on where you are within your awakening, you could get the energy wave through and it's happening straight away for you. And you're just like, whoa, I've got this wash of new Scorpio energy and it's amazing and it's brilliant and, and it's really good. Or you could not be integrating that particular wave that's coming through. There is waves of energy coming through from an astrological point of view, from how these stars align in the sky and what the energies that the, the waves that come through to us are being brought to us. But depending on where you are in your awakening is whether or not you will start to express and start to um, have the feelings of that wave at that moment it's happening or whether you are working on another wave that maybe happened a couple of weeks ago um, that you are still absorbing and still you know still integrating that into your into your DNA into your body and working on that one and working through that one so there might have been a wave a couple of weeks ago each each wave is different let me start again. Each wave is different. So it could be a wave of energy, which is service to self. It could be about unconditional love, um, healing, having an awareness of things, synchronicities, angel messages. It could be ascending ascension symptoms when you get flu and things like that. Um, it could be purging yourself of old emotions, letting go surrender and release. We had that one the other day. Um, getting rid of your ego is another learning how to um, serve others, learning how to serve yourself, um, being selfless, being in unconditional love. All of these are different waves 
of energy that our guides and our angels are helping to send through to us which are coming from the planets the alignment of the planets whether the moon's in Virgo and the sun's in Taurus or the because I'm not astrological but I still pick up on them um, and this is where it comes in with the readers you will watch a particular reader um, say for instance you're watching me um, and the angel cards that I brought out today completely resonate with you you feel like I'm talking directly to you and you know exactly what I'm talking about and you're feeling it and you're thinking oh how does she do that that's so cool one of my subscribers could be watching exactly the same messages at exactly the same time on the same day I think that's a load of rubbish it means nothing to me can't resonate with it I'll go and watch another reader who may be saying the opposite of my messages um, at that time and they'll resonate with that one instead so if you're in a really happy mood and I'm giving out really positive happy messages within the cards that happen to resonate you're going to resonate with them if you go to an, but if you're not in that space if you're not in that energy wave at that time because you may be working on another energy wave it could be that you don't need to, to, to work on this particular energy wave that has come through um, about new beginnings say for instance new beginnings that have come through today you've already started your new beginnings you're already way down the road on that one um, you did that one months ago or weeks ago so at this particular time there is not going to be a new beginning for you because you've already integrated that into your into your subconscious into your consciousness into your body your mind your mental body your emotional body all of that has already been integrated into you so this particular wave that's come through won't resonate with you whereas for others it will completely resonate with you I hope I'm making sense on this um, because as we're going through this awakening we're all on different timelines as well we're all on slightly different paths but we all get to the same road in the end we all end up on the same path in the end but along the way we can make little diversions along the way depending on where we're up to with with learning things Whew, right so each each one of us is going to resonate at a different point with the the vibration or the frequency of that particular wave that is coming through so some of us want to some of us want to resonate with us or will resonate with a certain energy wave as we're waking um, and some of you may be working on the previous energy wave that came through let me get to my notes um, So if, if you're working on a previous any energy wave and this one's just come through about new beginnings maybe you're not ready to experience this wave you're not ready to have it absorbed into your mind body and spirit at this time but it's come through and it's there so it's just waiting to, to be absorbed it's waiting for, for it to fully manifest within your life because you're still working on another one because we're all at different stages um, so it's not your time to experience this particular wave so my cards will not resonate with you at this time but coming tomorrow or next week or something they'll completely resonate with you because you're then in alignment in conjunction with the energy wave that I'm working through and tuning into from the collective consciousness from the stars from other planets aligning with each other um, and this is how you get your gifts as well um, and your downloads and your aha moments and your angel messages is is because you have integrated this particular energy wave into your into your body so the angel cards reflect um, I can't lift my arm up the energy waves reflect the waves um, that are coming from guidance because we have got a lot of help and guidance coming from our guides and angels from other places as well 
um, if you believe in guides and angels, then eventually along your awakening path, you will come to realize as well that there is not just guides and angels out there. We've got uh, relatives and other people that have passed over. Everyone's on a different timeline. Everybody is spirit. We are just spirits trapped in the human body at the moment. Um, but we are spirits just like the guides and angels and loved ones that have passed over. And I don't want to get too much onto that one else. I'll end up going on forever. But um, so we are getting these, these energies through. Let me catch up with what I'm saying to myself <laughs> before I say it out. Um, so yeah, if you believe in guides and angels and everything, as your consciousness expands, and at this point in time, you might just believe in guides and angels. Um, there are other things out there. As your expansion, as your awareness expands, as your awakening develops, as your spiritual growth goes along its path, you do come to realize through information that's coming through, there, there's so much more within this universe, so much more within it. We have other planets with life on them um, that are helping us as well, as well as our guides and angels. Um, and they are bringing through and they are helping us and they are helping raise Mother Gaia up into the fifth dimension um, from the third dimension that we have been living in in our lower chakras for so long because there is light and there is dark and for an awful long time for thousands of years the darkness has had control over our feelings our emotions the way we live um, and that is slowly as each one of us awakens and we touch somebody else and their light awakens and then we touch somebody else and there it's like a domino effect and each little light that goes on puts out this darkness and the higher we get into light the more help we can get from the lighter forces the lighter energies that are coming through to try and help us we are not blocked from those energies coming through we haven't got barriers there anymore that were deliberately put on us by the darker energies so this is what's happening as we go through the awakening um so likewise a particular any energy energy wave that doesn't resonate you as i said it's because you've already been through it you've already integrated it um those teachings those lessons that were brought through um and your mind your body and soul has been made aware of that and you've learnt those lessons from them um and you're just going to wait for the next wave to come through and the waves of awareness and the waves of help that are coming through are coming seem to be coming through faster and faster and this is happening because more and more people are awakening we are getting lighter and lighter mother earth is rising as we're doing that we're coming out of the darkness and as more and more people do that the more waves we're getting through to help us because we are now in tune in alignment with the, the energy waves that are coming through we are better able to become aware of them and tune into them um, so we've got all, all this other help from the universe as well um, as our guides and our angels um, they come they come from um, ETs <laughs> over souls from our monad family from the collective consciousness um, they are guiding us along this path to complete awareness and awakening um, for our individual for our highest good um, and it's a positive contribution that they're making to us um, I can't read my own writing um, and a positive on the collective consciousness as well so this is why we say stay positive because your positive thoughts, your smiles, your light that you're shining out to everybody is going up into the collectiveness as above, so below. And then it is mirrored back down to us as well. So, so much here. I got so much download last night. Um, and I hope I'm explaining it in a way that, and ask questions below, of course. 
Um, hopefully I'm doing this in a way that is, is can be understood by most of you and if you don't understand it quite now it might be that in a few days time or in a couple of weeks time after watching this you will get that download because it will have been integrated into you and you will ah oh, now I know what she means now I completely understand it and this is how it works this is how it works um, so whatever you do on an individual basis that is positive um, to get you to where you want to be uh, personally, that has a huge effect in, in helping the collective consciousness as well as, as a whole to move forward. Um, so we want our positiveness to, to go up into the world. And, and then up to the consciousness and be reflected back down. Um, so again, this is why you can see several readers at the same time giving the same messages out uh, from all different parts of the world, even though we don't know each other and we haven't watched each other's reading and everything, you will find the theme in there. It's because of the particular wave that is coming through at that time that we have picked up on. And then we're, we're bringing back out to you as it's coming out in the energies um, and this is how personal readings work as well all of you all of you can do readings you don't know how to yet but you will do um, because it's almost like a telepathic thing when I do a personal reading for you I am picking up on your and tuning into your energy your vibration which is how um, personal readings can be so accurate this is how it how it works but you can all do that upon your awakening and along your spiritual path as you become more and more aware you'll be able to pick up cards and do a reading for somebody else because you will be able to tune into their energies and if you try it go and get a pack of tarot cards go and pack, get some angel cards um, and try it as a personal reading for somebody and you will see that you can tune into them um, it might take a bit of practice and it depends on where you are along the spiritual journey but you can all do it you can all do it and if you can't do it now you will be able to do it um oh this is all so exciting i got so excited last night i wanted to do this last night but it was about to silly o'clock in the morning um So uh, this awakening process that we're going through is just about becoming more and more aware of the, the universe and the, the earth around you. Also, when we tell you, uh, when we go through and we guide you to um, stay away from people that are not positive, stay away from people that are having a, a bit depressed or they're having a hard time or they're being a bully, um, it's because you are empathic. Um, and you can absorb vibrations and energies from other people. So if you are, you will though move on from this stage, you have to move on from this stage. This is why when you go through an awakening, you will find that a lot of you will become isolated, that you will have to move away from friends, things, situations that no longer are serving you, no longer work for you, because you're then picking up and absorbing those vibrations and the energies from those people's situations and it's making you feel bad it's not making you feel good and you become aware on a gut instinct that you have to move yourself disengage from those sort of things this is why you start getting healthier because you know that drinking or smoking or whatever and drug taking is a vibration and it's a bad vibration that's making you feel bad and as you awaken and start to become more positive you know and it's a natural process almost that you start to move away from things like that and start moving to more healthier ways of living you know more fruit more water and this is part of your expansion this is part of your your spiritual growth so going back to moving away from people who are not positive who are depressed who are it's not to say that that will change because that doesn't change because it will change at some point but 
depending on where you are on your spiritual journey, on your awakening, if you are around people like this too much, you are going to absorb the energies from that and it's going to bring your vibration and your level back down to the level that they are. So if they're feeling sad, you're going to end up feeling sad as well until you can come to a point in your awakening where you can be around a sad person or a depressed person and not absorb that energy from them and you can give out positive light and because you're giving out positive energy positive vibration at some point hopefully they will be able to break through this you will be able to break through their sadness their depression their attitudes and shine your light onto them and they will start to pick up on that and your vibration and your your good vibes and they will start to feel better about themselves this is healing this is your healing ability that comes into play then when you are with somebody like that so there will be a point where you are isolated and you have to move away from things that don't serve you anymore because you are so empathic you're just absorbing everything and at this point in time you can't do that you can't afford to do that you have to you have to go through a process through stages to get to a certain point where once these people are out of your life and you've got new people who are then resonating on your vibration on on you on the same same human <laughs> um, same energy as you are you're all aligned with each other and this is you getting aligned with people and people getting aligned with you this is why people move out your life and why people come into your life and you have to be open to the change of that happening Whew. so there is a point where you can't go near anyone who who's negative um, and sometimes you never can because you are empathic but the further you get on your spiritual journey um, you should be able to become adept and learned enough to take the steps to not absorb any bad energy or non-positive energy from somebody else or sadness from somebody else um, and you can then stay in their presence and lift them up because you're not coming down to their level you're going to lift them up to your level of positiveness and and change and smiles and and happiness um so yeah that's it <laughs> is there anything else i need to explain um no but this is this is the energy waves that are coming in and they are coming in faster and faster and they are coming in to help us and the faster they come in the faster we pick up on them the faster we integrate them into our body the more aware we are becoming and being awake and becoming aware of the universe then we are just setting off little lights everywhere around the people around us you as one person can wake up another person and touch another person and heal another person in a positive way and all of that is going to go up to the collective consciousness and then be reflected back down to you which is your you're manifesting you're co-creating every day you're bringing what you want into your reality by the thoughts that you have um, the way that you see things your beliefs and this is how it works so you can touch a family member around you and I mean touch them with your light by being positive by being supportive um, empathic sympathetic all of those things compassionate passionate loving unconditional love um, you can be all of these things towards somebody else in a close proximity to you and eventually when you're at a point where you cannot absorb their bad energies your goodness is going to get through to them it's going to start to wake them up and they in turn that's two people then and then the people around them and more people around you it starts it's like the butterfly effect it's like a domino effect you touch one domino and they all start a chain reaction and all start to fall down 
um, this is what it is. The butterfly effect, the, the domino effect, the, you know, that, that little butterfly flaps its wings in America or New Zealand or somewhere and it has, that is an energy which then has a ripple effect throughout the rest of the world in some way, shape or form. Every action has a consequence. So these waves are fantastic that are coming in and once you tune into them, they're amazing. What is also good about this as well, when we have got stuff to clear, when there's stuff that we need to do to help raise our vibration higher, when we have an, a wave of energy in, let me go back to my list, when we have a wave of energy in that might come through and say, um, service to self, you know, we may start to get messages through from the angels or through the tarot cards of whatever, like the hermit, um, going in on ourselves, having quiet time to ourselves so that we can hear our guides and angels coming through to us to teach us things. So that is service, loving yourself, service to self, um, all these different waves. So the, what I was trying to say was when this other wave, if you get, if we get um, a wave that comes through to us, which is from the darker side of things, and we end up feeling sad, depressed, lonely, um, the lower chakra feelings. Once we're aware of that coming in, we can actually rise above that. We can start to rise above that then. We can accept those feelings, know that they're there, and then we can release, surrender them up to our guides and angels, get rid of those feelings, and know that that is a darker energy coming in. And it, we're too light for that. It's not going to hold us down. We're going to keep rising. We're going to keep going through ascension. We're going to keep waking up. And we're in such an aware state by then that we come to recognize the feelings and things that are coming through for what they actually are, that it is a darker energy. And we can either wallow in it, um, which will bring us back down in energy, or we can accept them. We can cry. We can scream. We can shout. We can release those bad feelings, not suppress them, and then move up and above them and rise above those feelings. So, whew, going for a cuppa, I hope this has helped and I hope I've explained it in a way that you can understand it because um, I got some amazing insight. It makes perfect sense to me. Hopefully it'll make sense to others. If it doesn't make sense to you, um, if it doesn't resonate with you, at this time, it may do a few weeks down the line or a few days or a few hours down the line where you go, oh, now I understand what she's talking about. It's because I am giving out a wave of energy now, uh, a wave of understanding that I have got to others. And if you're on the same vibration as me and the same resonance as me, you will understand what I'm saying. If not, don't worry about it. That's absolutely fine. Blessings and light to you because you will understand it at a different point in time because we are all experiencing the different ways of energy and integrating them. We're getting the same energy, the same waves coming in at the same time, but it's the length of time it takes us on a personal basis to be able to absorb those energies and integrate, the, integrate them so that they become an expansion of awareness and knowledge to us in order to move on to the next lesson and the next teaching that guides and angels and these energy waves have coming in for us. So if it doesn't resonate, it will, and that's fine. <laughs> and if it does, that's brilliant. Um, and any particular questions, bung them down below, but I, I just had to get this out. <laughs> had to. Um, so namaste, blessings and light, take care. Thank you for all your subscriptions and everything else. The, um, sleep paralysis video is coming out in a little bit that's coming out later today i had to get this one out though this was this was like pounding in my head um to get this this one out so namaste and i will speak to you soon <laughs>